thing that you resist the most is the thing that you absolutely must do when you make the decision to be the best that you can. Plato said, remember, life becomes real at the point of action. It's true that Towers Pair in 2014 Global Workforce Study found that only 31% of employees and leaders are engaged, fully engaged, heart and soul all in. So I want to take a baseline commitment and find out how many of you are really heart and soul committed. So please look in the eyes of the person next to you, look deep in their eyes and say, I'm at the top of my game. I'm just not sure about you. I began speaking about 25 years ago when I was a faculty member, a professor at a university and was asked by a company to help their employees with stress management, which I did. And I found and realized that they needed a lot of help. And as I did that more and more, I realized it was almost a calling that I needed to get out there and reach as many people as I could who otherwise wouldn't come in to offices for help. So as we begin our program, please put your hands up in the air, everybody. All the way up. Just play along, sweetheart. We'll get out of here on time. There we go. There we go. All the way up. Cup your hands a little bit. Reach over behind the person next to you. Slam them on the shoulder to say, Vendra el milagro. Good job. That actually means I think you're cute. Do you want to go out tonight? You've got to inspire them. And you can learn this stuff. You've got to inspire them through the heart. Like Moses did. I mean, Moses had a job. He had to get these people across the sea, right? What's a, what's, a, what's a leader to do? So he promised them the land of milk and honey. Was there milk and honey in Israel? No, he was totally faking it. But you know what? It got them across the Red Sea because he inspired them. We just finished listening to Dr. Janet Lapp, and I have to tell you, the personal story that she brings and the professionalism that she brings to a conference is unmatched. It was unbelievable. She ended with a standing ovation. We don't get that often. So, Janet, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'd like a show of hands to see how many people agree with the fact that people don't like change. Would you put your hands up? Wow, look at you. That's about 94% of you. People don't like change. Now, the thing is that people do like change. Change is natural. What's unnatural is not to change. You see, pressure and change and all this stuff is such an opportunity to find out what's inside of us. Because when I put pressure on you, all these changes, all this stuff, all these cuts, all these opportunities, when I put pressure on you, what comes out is what's inside you, your character. You reveal your character by how you're reacting to change. And it's not a great opportunity then to develop a character that's loving and giving and supportive. Janet's presentation was really spectacular. She hit the nail on the head with the content that she presented to our conference was really tailored to our audience. Really emotional, really moving, just spot on. Thank you. Companies sometimes think that they can just tell people what to do to move faster or be better or be stronger. And words don't connect with the place that makes you move because you have to connect with people through their hearts, through their souls, to really get them to believe that that story is about me. That story and that possibility is something that I can own and that I can go with. It takes that to get through it. I know it, it takes that much to get through it. Don't leave it to chance. You see, these days, everything new, you need to give it a new response. Don't judge stuff. If you're the kind of person who says, oh, we've been there, done that, did that 10 years ago, it doesn't work, let it go, let it go. And say two words, that's all you need. When anything hits you, then anything's new, these are the two words gonna save your life and a lot of money in therapy. And the two words are, that's interesting. People respect you and follow you not because they report to you, but because they believe what you believe, because you're following what's in your heart. And if you follow what's in your heart, if you're not doing what you love, you love what you're doing because you know why you're doing it. Don't ever quit. 
And I know it's tough these days to be courageous in healthcare, because if you're in a mission-driven organization, you're a mission-driven person, you want to quit every two weeks. And that's how you know you're doing something significant. It's, it's like that woman who lost her husband. It was terrible. After 40 years of marriage, she was devastated. And she wrote on the tombstone, my light has gone out. But then she started dating. And, <laughs> and she met this guy, you know, uh, fell in love, wanted to get married, but felt very guilty about the inscription that she put on their tombstone. So she went to her minister. She said, should I have it removed? He said, no, just right underneath. I have struck another match. <laughs> It's all you need to do.